Welcome to Lesson 5.8. We're going to continue on percent ratio and rate, and this is also the second part of comparing ratios. Um, students will use different strategies to compare ratios, so what we're going to be using here is more of the word problems and having you start to utilize the proportional method a little bit more to actually solve questions. This is basically not as difficult, so not, not as different as it used to be because uh, as the other, uh, other assignments, because I've been trying to throw in word problems as we go along here. So let's take a look. Here's our problem. A parking lot at a large airport has a ratio airport has a ratio of cars to trucks of 23 to 17. There are approximately 2,350 cars. How many trucks are there? So we know that the cars to trucks are 23 to 17. We have to make sure that stays the same. If there are approximately 2,350 cars, we want to know what is the amount of trucks. So, I'd like you to solve this question, please. So, you have all the tools that you need. All right, so we have 23 to 17 and 2350 to x. So, set it up as a fraction. 23 over 17 is equal to 2350 over x. Flip them both. Now, at this point in time, if you were to start setting up like this, put the 17 over 23 and the x over 2350, I'll let you do it. It's not a problem because I, you probably have enough experience now not to have to write this particular step down. Now, when you get to this step, and of course this step is needed, we solve it by multiplying both sides by the number under the variable. So we have 17 over 23 multiplied by 2, 3, 5, 0. And that's equal to x over 2, 3, 5, 0 times 2, 3, 5, 0. And yes, you have to do that on the right-hand side. Now, 17 over 23, when you multiply that by 2, 3, 5, 0, I just lost all my question, all my, my notes here. It is 1,736. So I'll move over to the right here. 1736.95562. All right, now there's a problem there because you can't have 0.9562 of, of an actual truck. So we round this off to the nearest truck. So the answer is 1737 trucks. Of course, you would need a sentence for this after you were done. Now, every question up to this point has been a part-to-part -part ratio. We're now going to move into what's called part-to-whole ratios. Bob has a set of hockey cards and football cards. The ratio of hockey to football cards is 2 to 5. He has a total of 651 cards. How many of each does he have? Now, this is, note that this problem does not tell you how many football or hockey cards, only the total. You, can you change the part to ratio he gave you of 2 to 5 to a whole ratio? Well, if you take a look, I'm going to take a look and write this up. It says hockey to football cards, and that is 2 to 5. So here's my hockey, and here's my football. What if I wanted, I'm trying to find the hockey cards, right? So what if I want to find out how many hockey cards he has in total? Since the ratio is 2 of these for every 5 of those, we could have two hockey cards and then five football cards. And you remember our elephant to seal question where we keep you know, doubling, tripling, and quadrupling? You would have to find out how this would quadruple to end up getting a total of 651. So hockey cards, there's two of them. But to how many cards? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. So he has two hockey cards for every seven cards he has. So the ratio of hockey to the total amount of cards is going to be 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. That gives you your total. Okay. So going on from that, I'm going to turn the page. Now that you know that, you can solve the question for the number of individual hockey cards in each set. So we know that the hockey cards, uh, we had a 2 to 7 ratio. So that's two hockey cards for every seven cards. And we need to know how many hockey cards for 651 cards. Sorry, there should be a colon there. All right. Now, this is no different than before. This is just a straight proportional problem. 2 over 7 is equal to x over 651. 
So now I'm running out of room here. So 2 over 7, you have to multiply both sides by 651. And that's x over 651 times 651. Yes, you have to do both sides. This is x. Now 2 divided by 7 multiplied by 651 is 100. And 86 cards. Now, if you round it off and took the 2 over 7 and you cleared it and then you put it back in, you won't get 186 exactly unless your calculator rounds it off for you. You'll probably get 185 because you rounded it off. So make sure you keep it in your calculator. Keep the 2 divided by 7 will be 0 0.285714 dot dot dot. Keep that in your calculator. Just press times 651 and that will ensure that you get 186. Now, it says here, how many football cards does he have? Well, you could solve this by a proportional problem, but subtraction is easier. Okay? Football cards is basically our total cards. Take away our hockey cards. If you take the stack of cards and you remove all the hockey cards, what you'll have left is the football cards. So our total cards was 651. We have 186 hockey cards, so it's just a matter of going 651, take away 186, and he has 465 football cards. Now, if you want to do the ratio, you can do it. But if you want to double check, you can actually make this work easily. You can make a ratio of six, 186 to 650, sorry, to 465, and see if it works out to be 2 to 5. Now, use your calculator for this. 186 to 6, sorry, to 465. If we've done this question correctly, it should be equal to 2 to 5, right? Because that was the initial question we were given, the initial ratio. So put this in your calculator using your ABC like this. Just do an ABC quick check with this. 186, ABC, 465, and press equals. You will find that it is indeed that ratio. So we have done it correctly. Okay, here we go. The gear ratio of a transmission for a go-kart, the thing that turns the wheels, is large gear to small gear ratio of 2 to 7. So how many times will the large gear turn if the small gear turns 1,256 times? So, first off, you have to decide, is this a part-to-part -part or is this a part-to-whole ratio? Right? So if you look at it, we're just going to be talking about comparing the large gears to the small gears. So this is a part to part. So there's no need to add the 2 and the 7 together. All right. So we have large to small. All right. So that's 2 to 7. And if the, sm the large gear turns 1,000, sorry, how many times will the large gear turn if the small gear turns 1,256? So I want to know how many will this turn if this one is 1,256 turns. So there's my x. And again, I'd like you to solve it. So solve the problem. All right, set it up. 2 over 7 is equal to x over 1, 2, 5, 6. 2 over 7 times 1, 2, 5, 6 is equal to x over 1, 2, 5, 6 times 1, 2, 5, 6. These cancel. So that means that 2 over 7 times 1, 2, 5, 6 is 358.86 times. Okay, so the large gear will turn. Now, you don't, re you don't round this one off because it is quite possible for a gear to turn no, 86% around and stop. Okay, here's one for you. Solve for the unknown number. So solve that problem. Okay, you know, in this question, it doesn't matter whether it's part to whole or part to ratio, part to part. It just, you're given the numbers, so work with them, okay? So we have T over 18 equals 6 over 3. Notice always first over second, first over second. So now I've got 18 on the bottom, times the top and the bottom by 18. Whatever you do to the one side, you have to do to the other, okay? These cancel, okay? And that will give you 36. Okay, this is not a word problem. You don't have a sentence. Okay, so those are the types of questions you're going to have to solve. So take a look at the assignment and get busy. If you have any questions, you can come talk to me. Or, better yet, look at the lesson over and over and over until you figure it out. Until, until you may, you get it. Okay, so I'll see you in the next lesson.